Hello, Internet. It's good to know you're still here. You've been around better than I have this past month. I don't know, it's just kind of been one of those months. Um, I've come back home from uni for summer now. And I don't know, I just got a bit caught up in everything. But if you're planning on buying an album this month, make it this one. England Keep My Bones by Frank Turner, which is fantastic. It's like the best album I've heard in ages. And there's just, oh no, signed poster inside. <gasps> I have an awesome Frank Turner story. Um, Like two weeks ago, I went to Playfest, which is the newest festival. It was its first year. It's the newest one in Norfolk. And it was just outside Norwich. And I went to see Frank Turner because he was headlining on the Saturday. It was a weekend thing, but I went on the Saturday because that's when Frank was on. But I ended up seeing so many more cool people, like the Darwin D's, who haven't really come under my radar that much. Um, I saw them and they were amazing and they were funny and they were really good. And a guy called Franz Nicolay who plays his songs with an accordion and a banjo, so that's amazing. And there was an acoustic stage, which I love because unsigned singer-songwriters are like crack to me. I love them. Um, I have like happy places. One of my happy places is being at a gig. I love all kinds of live music. Another happy place is like nature or being outside. So yeah, festivals are like a super happy place for me. It was amazing. Um, but yes, I was watching Franz Nicolay. He was in a big tent thing and um, someone comes and stands about two feet away. I'd like to say right next to me, but it wasn't that cool. But this person I'd sort of look at them and then double take because it's Frank Turner. I'm just standing next to my two feet. Frank Turner! And to not sound like a stalker, breathe in the same air as Frank Turner. I I am a stalker. It was amazing. It was a really good Saturday and I bought the t-shirt because I'm cool like that. But yes, that was awesome. So yeah, bye. England keep my bones because it's cool. <coughs> Sorry, I've been very ill this week, but it's Friday and I'm feeling good. So let's keep going. There is a vintage fair in Norwich on Sunday, which I'm going to and I'm hoping to cover for my blog. So that will be, you know, interviewing and pictures and whatnot. Um, links in the doobly-doo, I will go find my blog, my fashion blog, the Lily B one. It will go up on there. And, um... Norwich had a fashion week in February. Who knew? I didn't. I didn't know about that. But apparently they have this like week-long fashion event. And they're having another one in September. But I think it's when I'm back at uni. Which is frustrating. But I'm going to keep an eye on it and see what's happening. Because I'm going to try and worm my way in. And do something there. Speaking of clothes. New boots. I bought me some new boots today. Because they were in the sale. And I can wear them in winter. And I really like them. My tip, right, for footwear especially, buy in the sales because next season chances are it'll still be relevant. And I think the same can be said for things like jumpers and cardigans because they never really go out of fashion like a big slouchy jumper or a nice chunky cardi. That's my tip, buy in the sales. Like my boots that I got last year and I wore to Latitude, like if I was going to a festival this year, I would be wearing these because I think that boots are uh, if you don't want to wear wellies because you're going to buy a pair of wellies and only wear them to a festival and then it's a waste of money because wellies aren't exactly cheap i've said wellies so many times in that last sentence but yeah buy regular boots um just off the high street because my ones i got last year in the sale for 12 pounds and i wore them all the way through the winter that's my other tip festival dressing i'm hoping to write something on that on my blog in the next week or so again check it out let's have a look because i'm trying to shamelessly self-promote myself <sighs> I cannot do grammar but whatever um this is where we'll end this madness just to stop more abuses of the English language like that one and I will hopefully see you sometime next week stay good guys bye